Hi guys, so in this video we're just going to go over raw strings. It'll be a very short video, but I'm hoping that we'll get everything across as needs to be. So first I want you to type out print. In the brackets we need to again put quotation marks, just one, just single quotation mark. We're going to do C uh, backslash Neil. Oop, sorry. Just getting a bit of an annoying little thing popping up, which I don't want there. So, uh, C uh, backslash Neil. Okay. So, what we've got here is we've just got a little string that we want to print off C backslash Neil. So, we're using this sort of in the aspect as we would be going through, say, our Windows uh, through our C drive into our users and then onto a specific user or something like that. Now, I didn't put in the user because it will get in, uh, bring out a Unicode error. I believe it was called. I'll show you that one soon anyway. So we'll enter this out and see what happens. Now it's got C, semicolon, or colon, I don't know which one that is, um, double dots. I'm just going to call that for now. Uh, and then EIL. Now this is not what we were expecting. So what we've got to do is we've got to create a raw string for this because it's picking up the backslash n as t us telling the computer that we want a new line. So for a raw string, what we need to do is we do pretty much the same. We'll get the same string out. And there we go. So we've got the same string now. What we need to do here is we need to put an r before the quotation mark before the first quotation mark. And there we go. Once we hit enter, we see C semicolon Neil. This is what oh, semicolon backslash Neil or colon backslash Neil. I'm not too sure. Dot dot. Um, but that's what we're worrying during bed. But now we're gonna just run one well two last things. And print uh we're gonna do users or right, user and backslash, and then we're going to run this one again. So it works well with uh, literal strip, oh, not literal, raw strings. Doing strings literals next shoot, so it's just got to be confused. But if we get rid of this, we get a syntax error, Unicode error. Basically, that's just a mistake by us, and it's triggered by this backslash u. And if you want, go online, look up the reason. Uh, leave the answer in the comments, but I'm not going to go into that at the moment. Just make sure that you don't do that. If you need to use you, we'll come across that in our own time, but we don't need it now, and I'm not going to teach you it until we actually need to. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe.